Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead and call the uh, Apache County Board of Supervisors meeting to order. Uh, before we start that, I'd like to have someone volunteer to do the invocation, please. Anybody want to do that? Okay. Uh, I'm about to do a pledge for us afterwards. So we have to do it. Our Father, we bow our heads before thee this morning. We give thee thanks for this day. We're grateful we can meet together as a body, board of supervisors, and the public to discuss various business matters of the county. We're grateful for this free country we live in, for the right we have to meet like this. We ask thee to bless all involved that we might make correct and wise decisions. We're thankful for, for the uh, ability of the firefighters, both in Fort, Fort Defiance and in Vernon, to control the fires, be able to minimize the damage that they caused. We ask thee that I would bless this area with moisture. It is so much needed. We thank thee again for all thy blessings. Say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Devon, for the invitation, and thank you, Milton, for the pledge. Okay, why don't we go with the uh, Apache County Public Health. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Mr. White, members of the board. Good morning. The Apache County Public Health Services District requests discussion and possible approval of the memorandum of understanding between Apache County Public Health Services District and North Country Healthcare set forth the agreement under which the health district will provide breast and cervical cancer screening services to clients covered by the well Women Health Check Program. Okay, gentlemen. Yes, good morning, Mr. Chairman. I, I just have a brief question. Okay, Mr. Waller. Yes, good morning, Mr. Sexton. Uh, maybe it's just the order of things. I have a couple of questions. Uh, the states of North Country will be the verification uh, for the eligibility, but it's stated after we do the services. Is eligibility determined before services are provided? Yes, if we have a new client that comes in, then they will be screened um, by us and uh, given counseling uh, and referred for pap smears or for for mammograms or have a at that time. And then North Country will be built. But we will do the screening on the patients that come to us. Um, on a historical side, we have in the past had a Wellman Health Check program, um, and that was through contract with APHS. We this year did not renew that contract, and North Country picked it up through subcontract with North Country. Uh, thank you, but I'm not sure I was clear in my questioning. The screening, uh, this states that North Country is responsible for determining eligibility, not us. Do they do that prior to us providing service? They will be doing that. If clients come to them, most likely they will be screened and treated by North Country. I don't know that we will be getting very many new patients at all. Some people prefer to come to the health department for wellman services, but the new clients, I'm sure, will be through North Country. And then they will be referred to us if they prefer to have the county um, do the referrals to for treatment. I'm just concerned by the way it's written that uh, if we provide services at our cost and they decide the person is not eligible after the fact, we will not be reimbursed. 
I understand that. We'll be operating by the, uh, the same guidelines in the, uh, in the contract that Well Women has. The well Women contract with North Country. The standards are going to be the same. Screening is going to be the same. Like to see that. Uh, no, I just go by the contract language and the memorandum of understanding, and, and uh, <clears throat> we're asking them to be trusting at this point. You did state they are new, a new contractor versus what we used to use, so um, I guess that added some concern that we may not be on the same parallel because the language states something different than what you're stating, and I'm, it's just an understanding of the language is all I'm trying to get. So. I'll approve the item, but uh, uh, please report to me uh, or have this modified in some way to, because this this gives them the right not to pay the bill if they don't like the eligibility. Uh, Chris, yes. this was re reviewed by the um, county attorney's office, right? Uh, Mr. Young from the county. Okay. Okay, that's okay gentlemen. Uh, did you make a motion there, Mr. Weller? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve item one of the health district uh, okay. agenda. Second, sir. Okay. Motion and second. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Okay, let's move on to item two. We request discussion of possible approval of the Intergovernmental Agreement ADHS 14-072360. Excuse me. Do I have to speak with closer with the air conditioning on? I'm not sure Mr. Okay. Is that better? Um, we request discussion of possible approval of the Intergovernmental Agreement ADHS 14-072360 Tobacco Education Prevention Services to provide commercial tobacco education, prevention services, and implement chronic disease prevention and control strategies to address four leading causes of death specific to Arizona. Okay, gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have concerns about this. I presently would not make a motion to approve. Okay. Move that we approve, sir. Okay, there's a motion to approve. Uh, again, my question would be that the county attorney's office review this. It has been reviewed, yes. Okay. Under the new direction of our items before they come to the board uh, that need to be reviewed by the county attorney's office. Okay, that's, that's good. With that, I'm going to go ahead and second the motion. All in favor? Uh, I have questions, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, do you have a question there, Mr. Weller? Yes, uh, now this is, uh, I think, almost identical to the contract last year, uh, in which I expressed concerns uh, and voted against, and I just want to bring it to the light of the community of why I'm going to oppose this. And uh, I would uh, remind uh, the chair and uh, my honorable Mr. Shirley that uh, the county attorney's office does not review a document for appropriateness, it, it, it reviews it for legalness. And uh, the appropriateness of the uh, items in the document are up to the department head that is uh, over that department and for us to review. So uh, I'm not questioning that this is a legal document. I'm questioning uh, that uh, my concern is that I do not believe it's the government's responsibility to recruit youth to spy on or go after uh, criminal activity. Uh, and the way it's written in some areas is of great concern to me. Uh, I'm very much supportive that we need to enforce and maintain law uh, associated with tobacco use and, and so forth, uh, but I do not believe the government should be dictating us to require that we have youth involved in this uh, to make this happen. So I'm, I'm opposed to, to it for that reason. Okay. Thanks for your comments, Mr. Weller. Okay, Bradley, come to the mic and give your name. 